Okay guys, welcome back. As you can tell, I have finished up my row nine and it's looking beautiful. And at any time, I don't see why you can't change color on your flower, but like I did on this one, I like the highlights of it on the end pieces. You know, on the, some of the, um, the trim, I thought that highlighted the flower more so than um, anything else. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do a couple of these where every section of petal is a different color. I think that would be really, really beautiful. And I'm all about the color and I love doing flowers. So this has turned into my, one of my most favorites. Okay, so now what we want to do is we just finished up row, let's see, nine. We're going to slip stitch right here in our first single crochet just like we did earlier. Okay, sorry about that guys, my allergies are bothering me. Okay, now what we're going to do is row, row 10. So you're going to chain 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, we're going to do the same procedure. So you're going to flip this over and you're going to go ahead and start going around your posts here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we're gonna go, you're gonna wrap, and you're gonna go around your first one. Then you're gonna chain your nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. You're gonna find your next post, which they should be very visible by now. You'll. Re Oh my goodness, that scared me. That was my phone saying Merry Christmas. Nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Rotate it. Look for your next one. Okay, whoops, I keep forgetting to wrap. So you want to double crochet around that. I think I got my thingy things all messed up here. Let's try that again. I have a text tone that I downloaded on my droid and every time somebody texts me it says Merry Christmas and it's in a Santa Claus voice so it's kind of scared me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so we'll go to our next one, which is right here. Do your double crochet around your post and then chain nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, wrap. Go around your next post. Keep spinning on me, that's what it's doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, and I told you that this was a lot of uh, um, kind of technical going into this project, but it is well worth it when you make a couple of these and you see them um, holding some candles. I absolutely love mine. So now I'll have two for the time being. If I don't quit spinning this right here, I'm never going to get this done right. Hopefully you guys are doing a much better job at that than I am. <laughs> Do my double crochet there. I changed my nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Okay, let's see what our directions say here. So you're going to do that seven times. Join. Okay, so I see I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to join in the second of stitch one, two of our chain nine at the beginning. So there's your slip stitch. Okay, so there's what you got so far. Now, this last round of petals. You're going to do a single crochet, half double crochet, eight double crochet, 
half double, and a single, okay, in each chain five space. As I said, the only thing that changes throughout this wonderful pattern is the amount of double crochets you're going to do. So you're going to go into our first ring with a single crochet. Then we're going to do a half double crochet. Now you're going to do your eight double crochets. So let's get those started. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yes, you can hear my dog. Then you're going to do your half double crochet and your single. Okay, so you guys finish that up on your own. Do it around and I'll meet you at, up at the very end of the video for the last video.